Hello everybody and welcome back to another CB Showtunes tutorial. Now today what we're going to be getting into is how to publish your game on Itch.io. Now this is going to be a simple demonstration. It's uh, not going to have like an actually really completed game and all. This is just something that I basically put together using some of the free assets inside Unity. And of course there's a cloud pack which I bought. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing that you're going to need to do inside Unity is press File and you're going to go over to Build Settings. You're going to add your open scene um, as always whenever you're building your game. But what you're going to do is you're going to change it from what it normally is at PC Mac to WebGL. Okay. Now from WebGL you're basically going to take off development build. Now the reason why we're taking off development build is because let's just say that if it's in development build it will have all these weird different numbers on the side and you don't want the consumer or customer to actually have to see that. So make sure to take that off. Also go over to player settings and of course you can put in your company name if you have a public company. Um, you could also put your product name, what the name of the game is. Uh, we're going to just change that to simple game. And of course you can have default icon, default cursor. Not really necessary for this particular game. And of course we're going to have an HTML5 set up as this. Uh, you could go for Facebook settings if you want to, but they have a separate setting for that. Um, but we're going to be going for a HTML file. Um, resolution. So resolution, we're going to have 960 by 600. Uh, you are going to need to remember to put that inside of your itch.io setup. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, you could say run in the background. You don't need to worry about that. You can activate that if you want to have, say for instance, on your itch.io account and all. Say for instance, you have your game running and all. Uh, so if you're off of the web page, then you don't have to worry about it running as long as this is ticked. Now, if it's not ticked, well, then that's a different story. Um, you can go through all these different things and set up whatever. If you're using the free version of Unity, you will have the Unity splash, splash screen and all. So if I pull this to the side real fast and press preview, you will have this screen no matter what. Um, it's just this thing that happens. Uh, you can add your own custom logo as well. And of course, add the background for those logos. Okay, so once you build your project, I'm going to go ahead and pull that up real fast. Um, you're going to put inside a folder, and of course, I put built project with an underscore. And of course, you'll see an index file, a template, data, and a build. Um, everything inside this file, what you're going to do is you're going to select that file, and you're going to go over to your zip. Now, if you don't have something like 7-Zip or WinRAR, uh, then you may need to get something like that. I believe 7-Zip is free, uh, while WinRAR will cost you like, I think, $14 to $20 or something like that. Anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to say compress and build project or add to build project.zip or .7z. I would use .zip though. It's a whole lot more reliable. Uh, once you do that, you're going to end up with a project like this, and it, you'll see this little zip on it, or zipper, and that will represent if it's a built project. Okay, so with HTML5 games or um, WebGL games, I would advise using Google Chrome, uh, mainly because Google Chrome is compatible with uh, WebGL in comparison to, uh, say for instance, the Microsoft Edge, which on occasions works, but 90% of the time it wants to act up. So I would advise using a uh, Google Chrome for this. Okay, so once you actually uh, get onto itch.io or go to http colon or ps dot so, so, itch dot io, um, what you're going to do is it's going to give you an option. You're going to see login at the top or register. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to press register if you don't have an account. If you do have an account, just press login and log into your account. Once you're inside your account, you're going to go over to the dashboard and it's going to give you an option for different types of um, things. So you're going to see like analytics. It tells you how many people have played your game. Um, you're going to see create project, which of course is what you're going to click to create your new project. 
and of course you're going to see a couple other tabs. Now once you press create new project you're going to uh, see a screen similar to this. So for the title you're just going to simply put the title of the game, uh, project URL, it's basically going to be your um, username dot itch dot io and then it's going to have a dash and of course you could put whatever you want here um, I would keep it as the name of your game just so people will be able to know where it is um, you could read all these extra informations right here like short description or tagline I'm not really going to get into that because I'm not going to be using it uh, on classification it's going to be asking what are you uploading and it's going to give you a couple different options and we're going to actually be uh, doing this game a piece of software you can play um, you can see like this physical game right here this is like a board game or a card game something like that um, but we're using a video game so we're going to choose that uh, kind of project so basically what sort of project are you going to be using so here it gives you a couple options we're going to be using the HTML with a zip file uh, and it could be played inside the browser and of course it's going to say release status we're going to put what it's going to be now I'm going to have this as released because let's just say it's uh, not going to be something that's going to be built in advance um, pricing so basically you could set it up to be zero dollars or donate so people can do donate to you and you can have suggested donations keep in mind that if you do have this set up you will need to come over here and check out the payment configured settings inside your own personal account and of course uh, they do have options to where they will pay you through PayPal or they will pay you directly uh, through your routing number uh, it just depends on which option you want to choose so just keep that in mind okay we also have paid that of course is just basically telling everybody they have to pay you keep in mind that itch.io does actually take out 30% of whatever you make so say for instance you charge a dollar for your product so they're going to take 30 cents because they're hosting your game or selling your game for you in comparison to you actually going out and doing it yourself so they're going to be charging you 30 cents on the dollar uh, so you'll receive 70 cents of that dollar if you charge a dollar or ten dollars they'll be saving three dollars and you'll be receiving seven dollars uh, so yeah now keep in mind that if you want to get paid for your games you will need to advertise um, itch.io does advertise on occasions but not to the scale that you could actually advertise yourself so if you got friends family um, neighbors or anybody else inside your town that you want to be just talking to and be like hey you want to go check out this game go ahead and just simply go and advertise to those people and have them advertise for you so then you can get more people to check out your game and of course we have no payment so this of course means that it's free and obviously that's what we're going to have for this project and of course you're going to go over to uploads so with uploads you're just don't going to press upload file and of course you're going to select this built project zip once you got that done it's going to basically have it uploaded and you're going to check this out so first off we want it to be executable um, we don't need any of these options for Windows or um, Linux or Apple or Android uh, but you could simply just select whatever you want here uh, we're just going to choose executable because that's what we want uh, we're also going to put this file will be played in the browser uh, that will take away the options for any of those uh, so that's pretty cool and of course this is where I was talking about that you're going to need to remember these numbers so let's go ahead and close that down real fast and roll over to the resolution so if you notice this is a 960 by 600 so let's head over here to um, itch.io and we're going to look up 900 I believe it was 900 no 960 by 600 so just like that um, we are not going to be mobile friendly because it's only going to be used on our web browser um, we can add a full screen button that's great and of course enable scrolls no not really and right here we're just going to say this is a demo for my channel
perfect. And then of course you're gonna choose genre. Uh, we're going to pretty much just choose other because it's you know something. And for this, they give you a lot of different options. I'm just gonna go with experimental. Uh, you also have app store links. We don't have this app on any other link and all, so I'm not worried about that too much. But if you have your game on any other site like Steam or Apple or Google Play, uh, just simply link it over to those as well. Uh, custom noun, not going to worry about that. Community, so basically this adds like a message board on the bottom of your game. So you could disable this so nobody can say anything about your game. You can leave comments, so if people like your game or if people hate your game, they could leave those comments down below. And of course you have discussion board where people can actually talk to each other. Now we're going to disable this because, you know, we don't need it. And of course, visible, visibility and access. Starting off, they give you two options. So we have draft and we have restricted. So draft means that it's basically going to be to where only particular people can see it. Um, it's, you're going to need to go through draft first before it goes to public. So just keep that in mind. And then, of course, we have restricted. Now, restricted means that only a few people can see it. Uh, basically, if you give them like a download key or something like that. Um, but if you want to learn about download keys, just go over to the itch.io website and look up download keys and they will tell you all about it. So select draft starting off so we can save and view page. Once we save and view page, it's going to load the game up real fast. Um, and as you can see, we have this. This is a demo for my channel. Keep in mind, whenever you have that information, you can also put the instructions on how to play your game. That way, you're not going to be worried about uh, how things are going. So as you can see, this is actually loading up really, really fast. And here we go. So we have the full screen button right here. We also have Itch.io's uh, full screen button right there. Uh, WebGL does take like a second or two to completely load up. So yeah, and here we go. So here's our game. It loads up perfect and we can move around. And there we go, just like that. We now have a game fully published on itch.io, easy as is. And of course, you can go back. And now since we tested it with our draft, um, we're basically going to make it public. So make sure we saved it. Oh, I think it just reset us. Let me go ahead and go forward again. There we go. Okay, go back up to the top. And of course, you're going to go over to edit game again. Yeah. There we go. Uh, yeah, go back over to edit game and actually click back instead of uh, edit game. That, that would have sucked. Okay, so go back over to edit game and everything is as it should be. And once you have that set up, you're going to change this to public, which is perfect. Um, you can also come up here, add a cover image. Uh, you could have done this before, by the way, with the cover image. We're gonna add in our name and you of course you can add a YouTube link to the game uh, add a screenshot and of course roll back down press save make sure that it's set to public and once it's saved then you can just simply head over here to your main page so say for instance this and you could check out your game so now we just select that again and this is what everybody else is going to see so every single one of your customers or consumers are going to be able to see your game just like so. And keep in mind that I would advise using Google Chrome uh, because it is one of the few ones that uh, you will probably actually want to use uh, because it makes the game a whole lot easier to run on. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, check out some of my other videos. If you have any questions, leave a link inside the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer those questions. And of course, I'll see you guys next time.